Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. And the Bible says, according to Revelation 21, verses 3 to 5, it says, And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man, and he will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God, and he will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there will be no more death, or mourning, or crying, or pain, for the former things have passed away. And the one seated on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Somebody say hallelujah. Precious saints, this time that is coming is very soon. And we have to go through a period of time before this comes to fulfillment. But we know that there is a day coming that there will be no more tears, no more fear, no more shame or no more pain. But maybe right now we are living in a time where there's so much perversity, there's so much evil and the devil knows that his time is short. And maybe right now that you are under maybe some form of demonic oppression or you are having terrible nightmares or you're having dream pollution or you feel like you're stuck or you feel like your life seems to be under surveillance from the enemy himself or maybe there is strange a force that is troubling your life then today this prayer is for you now this will not be a long introduction teaching today but we will be coming against every form of demonic attack every evil spirit any monitoring spirit that may be coming into your dream life it might be coming into your dream life in the form of serpent spirits maybe spiritual lions monitoring birds or you're dealing with any type of demonic messengers or any evil powers any spiritual mirrors any evil de- and the list goes on, whatever it might be, we're going to come against it today. So buckle up and get ready for the heavens to shift and deliverance and breakthrough to take place, precious saints. See, when Satan tries to enter our lives, whether it be in the form of a spiritual attack or, or through an agent, through man, we must hold and stand strong precious saints and pray rather than cower and feel afraid when these attacks are against us so let us hit the enemy head on today in prayer and cast away all demons from our lives from your lives that you may be even from your loved ones so you may be undergoing many trials right now within your life at present and now may even feel this often is a lot more often and more frequent that you would like to admit but we are more than overcomers we are more than conquerors as the scripture tells us through Christ Jesus never forget that so remember these prayers are to bring like a spiritual sweeping within your life because when they are done under the anointing of God God will deliver you God will bring that breakthrough today so I want you to receive this ministration today from these prayers now remember As you are starting to understand and come to a deeper understanding and learning about evil spirits, learning about the different hierarchy of evil spirits, we've got to understand that these evil spirits that come from the demonic world of Satan's kingdom, they may take any form. They may even come under different names. So don't be dismayed or or confused by the different names and so forth. Because just as Satan is described in scriptures under different names throughout the different eras and even in the different culture that we see today, so too demons, they have different names. They can come under different missions, different characteristics, even different, like we understand the marine kingdom and so forth. Like they can... They can even shape shift or take different forms. Don't be uh, confused about that, but rather just receive it. Because sometimes when I mention these different forms or different missions or different characteristics, they are hitting 
the head on the nail of someone that needs that release specifically targeted under these names. So when we start to mention things such as serpents, lions, birds, evil birds and so forth. It's not saying that all these things are evil, that there are specific spiritual targets that we are targeting and they are different satanic incarnations of these things that we are speaking about. So the Bible says according to Matthew 12 verse 37, it says, for by your words you will be justified and by your words you'll be condemned. So by our words that we are being justified today and by our words we are being condemned. So we're going to speak words of life rather than words of death. So Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ today, we come before you through the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask for your forgiveness. Forgive us of any known or unknown sins today. Lord, let us be justified now by the words of our mouth. Today, we declare ourselves as heavenly citizens and we are members of the family of God of Jesus of Nazareth whoever touches us touches the apple of God's eye no weapon formed against us Lord any longer shall prosper by any means in our life or any tongue that shall rise against us in judgment shall be destroyed completely today every mouth of every lion shall be closed in the name of Jesus Christ. We now receive your peace, your righteousness, your justice, your security and victory over ungodly opposition as part of our inheritance because we are children of God that we cry out Abba Father and we declare ourselves a born servant of our Lord Jesus Christ today who is our advocate and our righteousness. Heavenly Father, today we bring even the sins of our ancestors before you. We confess all their sins, including any of the killing of any human being, worshipping of any idol, or selling or buying of any human beings, or sacrificing human beings to idols, demons, and Satan. Lord, any, any of those in our past that ate human flesh, or any of those that did any evil, wicked act, known or unknown, we ask and confess today and ask for forgiveness today in the name of Jesus Christ. We now therefore bring anyone, physical or spiritual, claiming any authority and power over our life, over our family, over our loved ones, over our destiny, and we bring them to the judgment seat of God right now for God to judge right now in the name of Jesus Christ because they have dared us, therefore they have dared you instead. So Lord, we thank you today. And as the devil was overthrown in heaven for daring you, O Lord, we command them and all the spiritual opposition coming against them, we command them to be overthrown this day from controlling and working against our lives, against our destinies in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we rebuke and bind any and all anti-prayer demons in the air, on the earth, under the earth, in the sea, and all the waters above and underneath, in rivers, dams, etc. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for giving us the authority over every spiritual, evil, spiritual, wicked spirits, any devil, anything today, in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you. For whatever we bind here on earth is also bound in heaven. Whatever we loosen is loose today. We destroy all hindrances against our prayer life today. Anything trying to hinder this prayer for someone to receive breakthrough, let it be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. We also rebuke and bind all anti-deliverance demons, any anti-progress demons, any anti prosperity demons also and any anti-miracle demons we come against you today in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you and we call upon the fire of the Holy Spirit and the blood of Jesus Christ as we plead it today to destroy all spiritual any type of thing that is connecting or monitoring our 
our movements or our listening devices. We come against them today operating in the air in any of the electronic devices or anything we're using today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we destroy every covering that the devil has made around or against us in the name of Jesus Christ. We destroy every cage. We destroy every chain. We destroy every rod. We destroy every cord. We destroy every uh, anything of witchcraft or attacks against us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you today in the name of Jesus. In the powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we destroy any and all of the properties of the spirit world, of the underworld today in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere where our image, our photo, our properties, our pictures, our clothes, our money, our name, any parts of hair, fingernails, any parts of any part of us through our dried skin, anything, Lord, that has been used against us, Lord, in the air, on the earth or under the earth or in the waters above or underneath in rivers and seas, Lord, anything that has been used against us in covens or in the temple of Satan itself, we ask that the Holy Spirit's fire come down to destroy the items of Satan that are working against us and testifying against us through these properties today in the name of Jesus Christ. In the victorious and powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we ask you, Lord, to loose our heart, our soul, and our minds today from any evil spirit today in the name of Jesus Christ. We destroy any cage, any chain, any bag or any poison or prison that is coming against us or trying to kill us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Where Satan has tied our heart, our soul or our mind, we ask the Holy Spirit to destroy all the power of any demon or any evil spirit Lord, that is working against us, that's working against us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of the living God, we ask that you banish all the forces of evil from us, Lord, that are trying to destroy us, but rather destroy them, vanish them, so that we can live in what you have called us to live and fulfill what you have called us to do. Banish from us all spells, all witchcraft, all black magic, Lord, any malice, any ties, any curses, any evil eyes, any diabolic infestations, oppressions, possessions, all that is evil and sinful, jealousy, Lord, any pride or envy, Lord, anything that is coming against us, any diabolical ailments coming against us. Lord, we pray today that they shall be removed and broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil monitoring agent assigned against us. Lord, it must now be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let the imagination of every satanic monitor fail and tumble into the abyss in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we command every witchcraft mirror and any crystal balls or any monitoring devices to break and scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let your finger right now punch every unseen eye that is trailing us about in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray right now that every listening, monitoring device, anything that is coming against us in the physical, in the spiritual, let it be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. All monitoring agents across the oceans on contract against our destinies receive right now the spiritual blindness and that they shall be disarmed and rendered powerless this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, today we destroy Satan's entire web that he has entangled us in. We loose ourselves from all the powers of darkness against us and we break ourselves loose from the powers of witches, wizards, spiritual husbands, spiritual spouses, spiritual children, spiritual homes, spiritual prisons, spiritual 
properties, spiritual, familiar spirits, any water spirits. Lord, we just come against all these evil spirits today in the name of Jesus Christ. We break in pieces every spiritual screen which Satan is using to monitor us. We destroy every spiritual mirror, every spiritual tape, every spiritual camera, every spiritual satellite, and all spiritual properties that Satan has set against us today. Let it be destroyed in Jesus' name. We rebuke, bind, and cast out of our life all evil territorial spirits, any celestial evil spirits against us in the name of Jesus Christ. We stand on the word of God and condemn all properties and weapons from the evil one against us to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind all powers of witches, wizards, any type of familiar spirits, water spirits and all chief evil spirits, spirits of weakness and every other evil spirit working against our life and our progress be rendered powerless this day in the name of Jesus Christ because Satan and all the evil spirits and any servants of Satan will now bow to the name of Jesus Christ. We destroy every covering that you have made to protect yourself from the Holy Spirit fire right now because no matter your level, no matter your rank, no matter your office or area of operation in the Spirit today, you will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that the fire of the Holy Spirit, the fire of the Holy Spirit will fall upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You eye that monitors us and attempts to cut off our breakthroughs, you will receive that spiritual blindness and also spiritual paralysis us today in the name of Jesus Christ. This day and forever, O Lord, we declare, Lord, our authority in your name is over every devil, is over every agent, is over every demon today in the name of Jesus Christ. We confess that according to your word, Lord, we have authority over demons and over every evil spirit today. They are subject to our commands and decrees. Therefore, in your mighty name, the name of Jesus From now onwards, we hereby banish all evil messengers, all monitoring spirits from hell that were signed against our life, and they shall go back and be rendered powerless this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you that you are answering our prayers as we receive this ministration. Oh Lord, we come against every serpent spirit that is coming against our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Just as you said in your word in Isaiah 27 verse 1, in that day the Lord will punish with His sword, His fierce, great and powerful sword, Leviathan, the gliding serpent, Leviathan, the calling serpent. He will slay the monster of the sea. We bind and rebuke every flying serpent that would attack our life in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and rebuke every flying serpent that would attack our life in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and rebuke every sea serpent spirit, any marine serpent spirit that would attack our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we pray today. Lord, we thank you that you have given us all authority as you have bruised the head of every serpent that would attack our life in the name of Jesus Christ. You would punish even the piercing of every serpent right now would be pierced in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and rebuke any serpent that would try to deceive us in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that as we release the rod of God to swallow up every serpent that would come against us as you did according to Exodus 7 verse 12 right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that you would protect us from every fiery serpent as you did with the Israelites in Deuteronomy 8 verse 15. Oh Lord, I pray today we bind and rebuke every serpent that would try to twist and coil around our life in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and rebuke in the name of Jesus every python that would try to squeeze out our prayer life in the name of Jesus. Christ. Today we bind and rebuke every cobra, cobra that would come against us in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and rebuke 
every serpent that would come against our life in the name of Jesus Christ because you have given us that authority to tread upon serpents according to Luke 10 verse 19. Lord, we are a believer and we will even pick up serpents and they will not touch us according to Mark 16 verse 18. Let the fire of God drive out every serpent from our life today in the name of Jesus Christ. We cast out every viper that would operate within our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We quench every fiery serpent sent against our life in the name of Jesus. We bind up every spirit and we break and cut off all cords and all curses from the occult, from witchcraft, from voodoo, all sorts of hexes and vexes and curses, including snakes that were sent against us, every serpent snake that was sent against us in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, right now. Lord, we do not render evil for evil or rallying for rallying. On the contrary, Lord, today we return blessings of God's love, grace and mercy to be sent to everyone that has sent us hexes, vexes and curses against us in the name of Jesus Christ. We are more than overcomers. And Lord, we pray today that the enemy lives under our seat. The serpent lives under our seat in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke every lion that would try to stoop and and even couch down to attack us. Lord, we pray against it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Through the strength of God, we break the jaws of the lion and pluck the spoil out of his mouth as it was according to your word in the judges in 14 verse 5 in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver us from the paw of the lion. We rebuke the fierce lion that would try to hunt us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we rebuke and expose any lion, any spiritual lion that would wait secretly to catch us in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke any lurking lion in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we tread upon the lion today and the cobra in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, today deliver us from all men, all evil men that are like lions trying to attack us and devour us. Oh Lord, let the lions today be scattered. All these spiritual lions be scattered today and you will save us from the lion's mouth and you will close the mouth of lions today in the name of Jesus Christ. You will even break the teeth of lions according to Psalm 58 verse 6. Oh Lord, you said in Psalm 57 verse 4, deliver our soul from the lions. Oh God, you're going to deliver us today. Just as you delivered Daniel in Daniel 6 verse 7, deliver us from the power of the lions. Clothe their mouth today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we thank you today as you have strengthened us to preach your word, to fulfill the call upon our lives. You will deliver us out of the mouth of lions today for no lion shall be there nor any ravenous beast shall go upon there as we tread upon the highway of holiness and it shall be found there that we shall walk there in freedom and wherever the spirit of the Lord is there is freedom there is joy and there is peace oh Lord today we bind and rebuke Bezebub Today, the Lord of the flies in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we bind and cast out all spiritual flies that would also attempt to affect our anointing or come and, and, and monitor us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that no fly can live within our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, today, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we decree, Lord, today, that every demonic messenger Every evil watcher, every evil fowler, every spiritual hunter and every agent of darkness are signed against our life, against our family, against our destiny shall now be rendered powerless in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that they are operating on 
shall not be bigger than the power of Jesus' mighty name. We send the fire of the Holy Spirit right now to render them powerless and strip them of every listening device, of every wicked thing that they are using and controlling in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray today in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you for it is written that they shall gather together, but their gathering is not of you. Whoever gathers against us shall be scattered and fall in the name of Jesus Christ. Just as you've said, according to Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We therefore today command this day, Lord, today that we shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that all evil, stubborn, evil predators Lord, targeting our life will now be rendered powerless in the name of Jesus Christ. We exercise our dominion over every unclean fowl of the air, every prince of the air, every demon of the air, every evil spirit of the air today. You will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, let every spirit bird sent against us be taken in the snare right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and rebuke right now any spirit that is operating against us we bind and rebuke any spirit that is operating against us in the name of jesus christ we bind the operation right now of every spirit every agenda be terminated today in the name of jesus christ lord we declare today that we are overcomers because you've said according to psalm 91 verse 5 we will not be afraid of the terror by night and we rebuke every night bird that would attempt to visit us at night or any serpent spirit or any lion spirit or any spirit that is being shifted or transformed into any image in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we decree this day, let every demonic court existing against our life and our family, Lord, that is raising accusations and counter accusations against us and our destiny be destroyed today by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demonic lawyer and judge giving judgments against our life, against our family, against our loved ones and our destiny in the spirit, wherever you are, we command you today, your your assignment, your mission is terminated and it's going to be overturned in the name of Jesus Christ. We nullify every evil judgment and decision that has been made and that has been carried out against our life, against our loved one, against our families and everyone listening today. And we command all those carrying out these judgments right now, all your plans are being frustrated and they're being rendered powerless this day in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke and nullify all curses, all covenants, all initiations made by our ancestors or by ourselves. Lord, anything done in the air, on the earth, under the sea or under the waters above or underneath in the name of Jesus Christ, we come against all curses that we have made against ourselves through our words, against our progress, against our future, knowingly or unknowingly. Let them be rendered today powerless in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, we destroy all curses hiding today. Let them be exposed today in the name of Jesus Christ. We destroy all curses hiding in the air, on the earth, under the earth, in the waters above and beneath the earth, the rivers, the seas, the dams today be nullified today and rendered powerless and harmless today in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke and bind the demons assigned to any curse within our lives and we command them to go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against all the covenants that have been made with idols, demons, water spirits, spiritual spouses, spiritual children, any any type of spirits coming against us in the physical, in the spiritual or in our dream life today. We 
cancelled these covenants and declared them null and void today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let all initiations that we have made against ourselves be destroyed, all of them today in the name of Jesus Christ. And we withdraw our memberships from any such evil initiations knowingly or unknowingly today in the name of Jesus Christ. We cancel our name from the register of Satan today and we declare ourselves free from today in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus has redeemed us by His blood. Remove them from us and remove all curses of disobedience to your commandments, O Lord. Rebuke the devourer of our life today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, withdraw the locust, the canker worm, the caterpillar and the palmer worm from us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Give us the former and the latter rain and fill us against all such things today. Fill us with your blessings and replace all this emptiness in the name of Jesus Christ. You will restore to us seven times that has been stolen as the enemy has been exposed today in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we destroy and nullify any enchantments, any spells, any charms, any incartations, any curses, any covenants, any initiations, any manipulations from any idol, witches, wizards, pre evil priests, water spirits and abortions from any coven, any spiritual temple or mystic home in the air, the land and the sea today be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we destroy all covenants and initiations made on our behalf in the air, on the earth, under the earth and in the waters above and beneath, rivers, dams, seas, etc. And we destroy all evil properties involved in the curses and covenants and initiations against us. Lord, I pray for the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Spirit to fall upon them and burn and break today in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and chain all the evil spirit guards, any type of gatekeepers that are in charge of these curses, covenants, initiations, spells, charms and so forth against our life. Those hexes and vexes are broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. We destroy the deed of agreement in the name of Jesus Christ. We also destroy any salt covenant that has been made through any meal, any meal manipulation, any drink manipulation, anything that has tried to come against us, anything that we have consumed, let it be removed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Any demonic incisions be loosed today in the name of Jesus Christ. Done knowingly or unknowingly as a child or as an adult, let it be broken and that thing to come out of our body in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we now separate ourselves from all curses from all evil spirits, from all covenants, from all initiations made against us. Lord, that we have been set free and we choose whom we serve today. We declare that every curse is broken, nailed to the cross and reversed into blessings today for each person. Christ became a curse so that we can become blessed. We thank you, Jesus, and we choose to serve the Heavenly Father, the God of Israel, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the Holy Spirit, we are a new creation created for Christ Jesus to do good works on this earth. Lord, I come against every evil spirit right now. You will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. I command you and cast you out of that person back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. You will manifest yourself right now. I command you to stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come out of that person. Every spirit of infirmity is leaving that person. Every spirit of almost there is leaving that person. Every spirit of setback is leaving that person. Every spiritual spouse is leaving that person. Every spirit that is coming to bring dream pollution is leaving that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every every hereditary demon is leaving that person's life right now. Every familiar spirit is leaving that person's life right now. Every monitoring spirit is leaving that person's life right now. Every spirit of infirmity is leaving 
leaving that person's life right now. Every spirit of Jezebel, you're leaving that person's life right now. Every spirit of Leviathan is leaving that person's life right now. Every spirit of Beelzebub, you're leaving that person right now. Every spirit of Lucifer is leaving that person right now. Every spirit that is connected to any occult or any secret society is now leaving that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Any spirit that has been worship on their family line that is still connected is leaving that person's life right now. All control and power over that person is broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. Or any connection or soul tie with the person that is sending these attacks or targeting us. You are an evil harassing spirit that is trying to even torment us through this person. But today we break you off in the name of Jesus Christ because each time you may even call someone, text them or email them. We will say this prayer and declare it and believe it that those things are broken. And we ask God that you'll place your heavenly angels around that person's home, property, and over our families, over our belongings. No evil will come near us. The Word of God tells us that that your weapons, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. It shall not even prevail because we have that connection for no weapon formed against us shall prosper but any tongue that raised against us we shall condemn for this is a heritage serves the Lord and their righteousness is from me so we break off and sever all and all soul ties between us and any person and we pray right and we declare Lord God that you are our shield our buckler our rear guard our strong tower and fortress and we put our trust and faith in you Lord Jesus and you will seal this prayer right now in the name of Jesus Christ because you know all things and all things are in you and we trust in you. We break off anyone's life right now and any of their families including the curses of barrenness, sickness, mind control, confusion and poverty. We rebuke every evil spirit and let Lord that has been empowered with these curses and these demons to come out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and cast out those spirits now, right now. You will come out of them. You will come out of them. You will come out of them. That spirit of destruction, that spirit of blindness, that strong man of death, the poverty of robbery and thievery, any withholding spirit and spirits of infirmity, any spirits of infirmity like cancer, any heart disease, all muscular diseases, sicknesses of any kinds caused by this infirmity. Come out of that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare today that all gatekeepers over them also must leave now. You will get out of them right now. You can only stay till one greater comes today and one greater is here. His name is Jesus Christ. Satan is not in charge today. Jesus Christ is. So pack your bags, pack your babies, pack your nests and leave now in the name of Jesus Christ. We put the blood of Jesus Christ against you and all demons that are operating at the root of this to come out of them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We close those doors now. We seal them shut with the blood of Jesus Christ and we cast you out back to the pit of hell and forbid you to come back to that person listening right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demonic attachment on your body any rings, any charms, any bracelets is coming off right now, is being broken off your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. It's coming out, it's coming off you. There is a nose ring coming off someone right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There are certain earrings coming off someone's right right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There are certain rings coming off you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There are certain ankle bracelets coming off you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There are certain belts around you your waist that line like a chain that has been put there is coming off there in the name of Jesus Christ there are certain uh, there, there are certain things like the, uh, you, you had the, they have placed certain red things around your around you also as a child for a protection that is coming off your life whatever curse it is left and whatever's transference of spirit is left in the spirit is coming off right now is being broken right now all those demonic attachments are leaving your life right now they are coming off they are coming off. The fire of the Holy Spirit is upon you right now. They are broken. They are broken. They are broken. They are broken. 
they are broken they are broken under the anointing right now every demon must leave your breakthroughs are coming today in the name of Jesus Christ every evil spirit every monitoring device is broken is broken is broken is broken is leaving it is leaving Holy Spirit come and fill them come and fill every void come and fill them and bless them and fill them with your peace your love your joy right now in the name of Jesus Christ come and fill them today come and fill them today come and fill them and touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now oh God send your blessings upon them oh God fill them fill them and renew them today in the name of Jesus Christ oh God come and fill them oh God come and fill them that they may prosper in whatever they touch because whoever touches us touches the apple of God's eye and no weapon formed against us any longer shall by any means prosper within our lives in the name of Jesus Christ Lord I pray Lord that each person shall receive your peace your righteousness your justice your security and your love your joy and victory over every ungodly opposition right now as they are they, they have received their heavenly inheritance. They are children of God. They are bond servants of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come and touch them. Come and fill them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and touch them. Fill them. Heal them. Deliver them. Bless them. Set them free today in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this particular prayer today, I'd encourage you, you can listen to it more than once. Send it to someone that also needs that breakthrough today. No matter what you are facing today, Jesus is more powerful and this prayer is to bring that breakthrough. This prayer is for you today to listen to more than once and also send to your loved ones that need that breakthrough today, that spiritual sweeping in their life in Jesus' mighty name. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.